All right, I'm no lawyer, but obviously New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, uh, high-tax states are luring up to sue the government over this tax plan that is already the law of the land. Took effect January 1st. A lot of individuals start seeing these tax cuts, presumably in checks uh, that will be issued next month. Uh, a lot of companies seizing on this to share the wealth. We've got New Jersey's uh, new Democratic governor, uh, Phil Murphy, promising uh, that he is still going to go through with a tax on millionaires in his state. He could be facing some opposition from his own Democratic state pre Senate president. Is he advocating what he advocate on the stump, the millionaire's tax? Well, he's talking about that right now, but ever since things happened in Washington, uh, you know, I basically put a pause on moving forward right now with the millionaire's tax. It's something I actually voted for several times, but, you Neil, know, things have to change in New Jersey. And, and, and I mean, they have to change in a big way. We're going to look at everything, and we pretty much have to blow the system up and start over. All right. Uh, now, keep in mind, New Jersey is one of eight states where the Democrats have the run of the table. In other words, they can go both branches of the legislative government, of course, the governor's mansion as well. The read on all this from former New Jersey Republican Governor Christine Todd. Uh, governor, thanks for taking the time. What do you make of that? There seems to be a little battle going on in the family uh, in the family yeah, business so here. Uh, what, uh, you have a, a state Senate president who's looking at this and saying, you know, this is not the environment to increase taxes on anyone, uh, even the rich in, in, in our garden state. What do, you, what do you say? Well, first of all, I think he's right. Um, we are the most highly taxed state in the nation as far as property tax and what the uh, new tax law has done is not going to make things easier. And if you raise a millionaire tax, those are exactly the people who can move. And unfortunately, most of them are the CEOs of businesses that they brought to the state because they love the quality of living there and they wanted to live there and they want, didn't want to have to commute very far, they're going to take some of those jobs with them as well. Do you ever worry, though, that I know the hope is that from Republicans, Governor, that these high-tax states change their ways, that all of a sudden they look at their spending, they look at why they're such high-tax states to begin with. I don't think that's going to happen. I, I, but, but what do you think? Well, I think it's very hard because in New Jersey, the average property tax is over $8,000. When you know your deduction now, for the federal taxes, that combined with your income, that's going to make it very hard for people to stay in the state. But the state doesn't control the property tax. That's determined at the local level. That's about school spending. Right. That's about municipal services. And so it makes it very hard for the state to come in and say, we're going to fix this problem, because the only way you can really do that is by providing more money to the municipalities, to counties, so that they don't have to spend money. But that's and just part of the governor, right? Their, because the, the, the states themselves, like New Jersey, like New York, Connecticut, Illinois, California, they, they have high state taxes to begin with. So um, I'm just wondering where this goes, because some of them are trying to get clever with this. In New York, there's a measure on the table to move that to payroll tax so the people want to uh, write up their payroll tax so they still can, then they can try that. Uh, others are saying make it a charitable contribution. I, I don't know what's legal or sound or right, but I, I don't see any of it happening. But what do, you, what do you think? Well, what we really have is a spending problem. It's never been really about an, an income problem in any of our states. I mean, we saw that when I was governor and I reduced the income taxes by 30%. Uh, we were able to. Uh, when I left, we had the biggest def uh, We had the biggest surplus that we had had up to that point, and our pensions at that point were each over 100 percent funded, and we had a large rainy day fund as well. And that came after we had cut taxes for people. You have to be careful. You have to balance that. Right. But you have to balance your spending. Are you surprised that the number of companies, Governor? doing what they're doing, sharing the loot, the wealth, whatever you want to call it, with workers, with, in the case of some utilities, with customers, um, that, it's, that it's more than thought. Well, I think it's a good, it's great. It's great for the people who work for them, and it is great for the customers, but I'm afraid it's only one time. I doubt you're going to see this is going to be a continuous thing, and it, uh, we would hope it would be, but I'm, I'm skeptical. All right. We'll watch closely. Governor, thanks for taking the time. Christine Todd Whitman, uh, some big changes in New Jersey with a Democrat in charge, the Democratic legislature, but signs right now uh, that it isn't always going to be everyone on the same page. Kumbaya.